Welcome to a free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, we're going to talk about creating a one to many relationship between two tables. This is an intermediate level lesson, which I cover in much more detail than my Microsoft Access 201 class that can be found on my website. A relational database is one in which the data is organized and can be accessed according to relationships between the tables. Relationships are important because they help to minimize errors and increase efficiency by eliminating duplicate data. Now if I have a one-to-one -one relationship between a customer and his vehicles for example, here's a situation where one customer, Joe Smith, has one vehicle, a 95 Ford Taurus. If I'm only using one table to store this data, and Joe now gets a second car, my second record's going to have duplicate information in it. It's going to have Joe's information twice. If he now has a third car, you can see where we're starting to get lots of duplicate information in our table. If you compound this by hundreds of customers and hundreds of vehicles, you can see how you're going to have lots of duplicated information. The solution is to break this up into two different tables. One table for the customer, a second table for the vehicle. You can create a relationship between these two tables so Access know which customers belong to which vehicles. You can do this through the use of key fields, primary keys and foreign keys. Using your keys properly, Access can keep track of which is which. Notice how as I add customers and cars, I don't have any duplicated information in my tables. This is the classic one-to-many relationship. There are other types of relationships, and I cover those in my Access 201 class. Here in my Access database, I've created a simple customer table with a customer ID, auto number, first name, and last name. With some sample data, it looks like this. I'm also going to create an automobile table that has an automobile ID, that's the primary key, a customer ID, that's a foreign key, that's going to point to the customer table, and the year, make, and model of the vehicle. The data in this table looks like this. The automobile ID is the primary key for the automobile table. I've left the customer IDs blank for now. Here's the year, make, and model of the vehicles. Now, if I were filling out this information by hand and I could see the customer table, I could just manually type the customer IDs in here. For example, let's say Chris Hodge owns the Ford Taurus. Bill Simpson, the customer 4, owns the Ford Ranger. And let's say I own this one and this one. I own two vehicles. Now you can see which customer owns which vehicle. If I go to Queries and pick New, Design View, and then OK. If I add both of these tables to my query, you'll see that Access automatically creates a join between these tables based on the customer ID. If I were to now make the query with the customer ID, first name, and last name, and also the year and make of the vehicle, my query looks like this. When I run that query, you'll see the relationship keeps everything together nicely. No information is duplicated and I have a nice relationship between my customers and my automobiles. You could also, for example, make another table that had all your makes in it and another one that had all of your models in it. Those could also be relational. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Access, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for Microsoft Access 201. That's my first intermediate class that covers creating table and query relationships, just like we learned today. If you need help making tables and queries and basic stuff, I also have several beginner tutorials that will get you up to speed.